Hey everybody, Tommy G here, and uh, gonna be taking a load out again by myself. Pete's not here tonight. I think he's he's over at Pete's place, working in his his garage somewhere down there in the southwest. So I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep scooting and moving, and I'm I'm heading west. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get myself out to Colorado Springs because uh, I'm going to uh, sponsor a rally hill climb driver to do the Pikes Peak thing in Rally Dirt Rally Three. What that means is I'm gonna do that in VR and then do the uh, the replay in 2D. It shows the replay in 2D, and that's essentially represents bike driver. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to connect those dots, and then I'm going to head west and do some flying, uh, aerial fly. Actually, I'm going to do some more aerial fly out here in Colorado, but I'm getting to Colorado Springs. This is the one that gets me closest for ton. That's all. Yeah, you don't need to know everything if you're not interested in all that stuff, but I'm going I'm taking scrap metals from the Steeler here in Eden, Oklahoma, which is a pretty, fairly good-sized town in central Oklahoma. It's going to take 35000 53 pounds to the Rattan, New Mexico rail export. Uh, it is a standard delivery, but it's also an articulated trailer, as you can see. So scrap metal deal. It's not, I don't get to do that very often. So kind of excited to haul some scrap. Thursday, 7.38 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time. And here again, I'm in my brand new truck. This is my first load. I forgot. I just bought this thing. And then parked it over here. A new driver showed up since then. But uh, what did it say? 7.13 a.m.? 7.39 p.m. I'm sorry. Let's see. So we'll be driving into the night here again. But uh, yeah, this is my brand new uh, international. Uh, was it Skyliner or something like that? So I've only gone here. Let's hop inside. Get out of the rain for Cronella. Turn this thing on here. What do I got? Uh, 14, I've driven 14 minutes in this thing. I've gone three miles. Three miles. It's that new. It's got that new car smell. And uh, yeah, there's my setup. It's bigger than I'm, I'm used to. I've got a, a second bunk if I need it. I've got some overhead shelf space there. i got my flag up. i got a lot of JCB stuff in here. My fridge, my shoes, all JCB gear kitted out. So anyway, that's that. So let's turn it on, see what it sounds like. There you go, very nice. Everything's very readable. I even like the steering wheel. Nice leather coated steering wheel, and it's uh y if you wonder if you if yours doesn't do this where the steering wheel kind of vibrates, I've got a uh, a G920 and it it's got force feedback and it's actually vibrating for real, and that's I think what transfers onto the video. But if I grab it, that'll keep it from vibrating. So anywho, um so, we already got this thing on the GPS. Might as well just close this window there. Put the to push the parking brake in. That's going to release the air and let us ride. We're gonna have, need to have our wipers on and our lights. Put lights at that. Get the wipers here. They only need to be in that first one. There's my gear in the lower left. I got plenty of room in front of me with that guy. I can just drive through the tall grass here. I need to go to the Steeler here in Enid. So I was looking at Enid on uh, on Google Maps, and um, there is essentially a grain um, a grain depository here in this spot. So they put this Global Mills, which again is a real world analog for it's a it's an analog for General Mills, but Global Mills right here, and. Um, I meant to Turn left. change a little setting on my brakes, but uh, I didn't. But anyway, um, and this little this little three-way stop is here too. There's actually this turn sort of left. pyramid turn going on, and those guys have to stop. <clears throat> I saw that on the map, and I didn't see what this was. Go Let's see what that is. Oklahoma Insurance Center? Endurance Center? I don't know. But the town of Enid proper is mostly off the left here, like the residential area. And they get some, some weather Stay out right. here in central Oklahoma, then folks. Right. The states. Oh, the Steelers, right. Is that it? No, that's okay. It's. I thought turn maybe right. maybe I'd missed it or something. Go 
Good, that guy's not going, is he? Okay, good. Truck route was 64. Stay right, then turn right. So yeah, if, if anyone from Enid, Oklahoma in real life ever stops by the channel. Right. Oops. Definitely leave a note. Let us know what your town is like in real life, but it looks, I assume, a lot like this. Here's where we are going to pick up our articulated trailer. And if anybody new to the game, I mean, I've been doing this for years. Anybody new, though, you actually see the trailers here physically on the site. If you were to just drive around, you have see the trailers that are ready. But uh, Your route guidance there we go. Go to park and let's talk to the people. We're here to pick up freight market. Look at that truck, though, huh? So they got, I would just like to look at what things they have. They got the yard trucks. Those are for like, you know, depot station going to Longview, Texas, Walbert. They've got uh, Mooring Boys going to Enid, they're going to Hot Springs, Arkansas. They must do a Sea Horizon. Huh. It's a lake thing there. But we are taking the scrap metals to the Rattan. Now, if you watched my last one, I started, I took one of these internal game jobs and it had me go, it needed me here at a certain time. I did it in multiplayer, and then I ended it, and then I started it back up, and I think there was some sort of glitch, like it jumped ahead, I think. I'll have to go back and look, and I was 13 hours late. I, 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 I totally comped my my trip to Enid. It was like $17,000 delivery, and I, I ate it. I ate the whole thing. They didn't pay a thing because that's over 13 hours late. Anyway, let's get these scrap metals and... Uh, We'll make Let's money go. on this trip. We won't lose money. And you can see, I usually change the scale on this to the lowest possible zoom to, to make sure I can see where that green flag shows me where my load is, where I got to pick up. It's right back here. It's back in the corner, it looks like. There's the mooring boards. And you can see, yeah, those other two loads are physically sitting there waiting for someone to hitch up on them. <clears throat> so I probably could have come at this a little different way. I'm going to want to turn my my wipers up a little. If I would have come around counterclockwise, I could have gone past those other two trailers. Yeah, so those loads are both set to go to those other locations. Okay, I don't want to hit these, so... Here's our load, little scrap metals. We're gonna hitch up to this sucker and uh, I do it now. It's raining out, so I'm gonna see if I can just do it on my mirror, you know? It's supposed to look at my head out the window, which I knew, normally do. I'm gonna try and just use my rear view mirror. This is unusual for me, so we'll just have to see how this goes. I think I'm lined up. Look at that! Uh, I do have to go outside now, though, to make sure I can do the, this thing. Got to do the walk around. Got to look at this thing. I'm going to do the landing gear. If you watch Happiness by the Mile, again, she tells you landing gear, you always twist the gear in the direction you're going to be going. So you're picking up your trailer, you roll it forward. It's counterclockwise. When you're releasing the landing, you're dropping them down. It's clockwise. You're, you're leaving the trailer behind you. Just FYI, my brakes work because it's not my trailer. Turn signals work. We have air. We've got we have power. We're all set to go. Pop back inside the cab, dry off. Take a look at our weigh bill. 35,000 pounds of scrap metals to the Rattan Rail Export. They need it by Friday, 9.15 a.m. It's Thursday, 7.59. So what's the ETA? At this point, Friday, 3.03. So yeah, just after we 362 miles, we won't need to sleep. We're gonna get there plenty of time. Mark my words. Mark them. They marked them. Okay, now we can roll out. Okay, second. I'm gonna start in second gear because I don't always start in first. Sometimes it's a bit much. Rolling across the pavement here with our scrap metals in Enid, Oklahoma. 
gonna make our way out toward the highway. Head west past um whatever. Yeah, you know, before I get to the before I get out on the road, let's take a look at the map. Uh, I know Pete does that a little bit more than I do. <clears throat> it's always good to get an idea of where you're going, especially when you look at the type of road you need to cross and all that stuff. Um you know, just to see what's on your way. It also gives me an idea if I'm going to be passing points of interest or anything like that. So I'm going to come Turn to a stop left. here at the Steeler before we leave. And let's just look at the map. Hold on a second. All right, this is where I hired my guy. I, I'll have seen most of Enid, but I'm not going to see... See, on the other side of town, there's the uh, point of interest. I'm not going to get a chance to get there, though. But I don't, I don't need anything. I'm just going to head out of town. All right, so we have a, we're going to have a point of interest and a, and a photo opportunity just west of town. The sun's going to be going down, so I don't know if that's going to be, we might get there as it's dark. Maybe we'll get a twilight shot. It'll be nice. We're going to go through Woodward on the 412, turn north out of Woodward on the 412. So I've been through this, this whole road already. I, I went south. I've not been on this stretch of road west of Enid, but I've been obviously through there towards Clinton. This is not new over to Guyaman, but I have not been on this stretch from Guyaman down to Dalhart, uh, Texas. And so then obviously then I have not been from Dalhart on up to Rattan. So there's going to be a lot of new road here. I will only have seen this section right here. Everything else is brand spanking new to me. So that's kind of exciting. I'm going to pass that one point of interest so let's get going looks interesting right sun's up a little I think we can get to this point of interest by sundown thanks guys I like eating though Where'd that guy come from? Did you see that? He wasn't there when I looked. Was he my stanchion? Because he just kept flying out of nowhere. Stay right, and then turn right. All right. I can't quite tell what the license plates, what the, what the Oklahoma license plates look like there. What that's supposed to be. One of these little old school corner gas stations that thing's probably been there for over 50 years what other game characters are from Enid Oklahoma none that I know yet but are probably gonna have some easy red 2 heroes from this town because I got we play through easy red 2 and I have a little database of uh, I put the character names into the game generates and I've got a, a database of all these cities and truck simulator and it'll randomly a sign. Oh, there's a inter big international dealer here. I need it. Oh, that's <laughs> duh. That's where I bought my truck right there. Hey, how about that? Look at the international dealer that I've been to. Tom, you do. Okay, so I have not been west of here, but look at this cemetery. Maybe we got some of those World War II heroes in this barrier here if this was their hometown. It's impressive. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to revisit that if there are but like I said yeah, on that game it'll automatically just sort of randomly tell me where some of the characters Stay are from left, so and then turn left. it's just fun for me again I do a lot of the story writing stuff so I I tend to I tend to build backstories for things that nobody else does just to keep it interesting it's probably just me all right, we're at Van Buren. Oh yeah, the sun just went down. Did I turn my wipers off already? I guess I did. I mean, it's it's still it's like slightly drizzling. It's like barely. It's one of the that's that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's a new thing, because they used to have it just stop raining. There's just a little sprinkle there afterward. Nice motorhome. I'm so jelly. <laughs> clear enough my windshield from the last bit of stuff there plaster and sons it's a good company 
haul it. I don't know if I've hauled for haul it much. I don't know what happened there. Okay, we got our green light. What? The? I'm in seventh gear. Why am I in seventh? Oh, why can't I get out of? S oh, now I'm in second. I'm gonna get a red light. I'm gonna get a ticket. Yeah. I was having problems with my gears going through that intersection. And he's behind me there. He just pulled me over. That, I, I don't know what happened, but I killed my engine. I, I like, again, I'm, I don't know if I said it before. I think I, I'm sure I have. If anybody's heard it before, like, I know what's coming next. I've got a gear shifter. So I'm actually, you know, driving, using, shifting gears and stuff. But it, you know, goes up to gear six. And then I have to pull a paddle that throws it into the next set of gears. So I have to remember if I'm in the upper set to drop it back down when I need to go back in the lower ones and occasionally I forget or I thought I did and I didn't and that's apparently what happened. You can see my gears are, you see the little international symbol there? Right above it in the left I see the little N that's neutral. I just threw it in neutral. So I'm just going to coast down this hill. I forgot I should be looking around town here. This is kind of a nice place. Go the speed limit's 35 and I'm cruising. Like the gal in there. Oh my. Hit the brakes, Tom. Hit the brakes. That's going to leave a mark. What's this place? Looks like some official building. But yeah, here's, here's Enid, Oklahoma. So... So the town proper, most of it is... See, look, I'm in 8th gear. Why am I in 8th gear? It's to our left here. I guess I forgot to drop the pedal down. Then I'm going to get stuck at this light. I'm going to take a Go little straight. look. Okay. Well, since we're here, we may as well step outside, take a look around. There's their license plate. I can't quite see what's on it. We're at Van Buren Street. I don't know where else. I got my lights on already. It's a prime rib there. We're right on that line, aren't we? And Randolph. Van Buren and Randolph. Bunch of president names. Here on the bumper. Wal they have a Walden's uh, billboard over there. That's a company uh, you could deliver for and from. Heron is not. Heron uh, Rentals is just a... It's an in-game company, but it's not one that's... It's a client. Of course, the Taco Kingdom. That's where we just got... That's where we just stopped off and got a taco. But they have burritos, too. It's a retro arcade. Redwood Gift Shop. It's probably a real world place. Then turn right. My signal on here. It's like coming to a stop turn near the right. Dukes there. At Garriott Road. I could turn right on red. I don't know what that building is, but it, did this guy see me start to move and I think he did. I don't know what that is, but it's like a little park over there. I gotta make sure my trailer makes it around. That's a nice looking park, huh? Good place Go to straight. hang out. If you're a kid or just sitting for a stroll in the afternoon. You need it, Oklahoma, as you watch the sunset on a Thursday night. Look at this, look at the sunbeams coming through the trees there. Group bank. Get your bank done at Group Bank. I don't have an account at Group Bank. Let's see, I want to be on the right lane, don't I? Coming over, Joe. There's a nice neighborhood off our right. If you live in Enid, you probably live back here. I don't know, who's your favorite team if you're what's this say here? Celebrating Native American culture. Well, which one? It's not all one homogenous blob. Up this way, 
maybe Apache or Choctaw? AMLS, together on the right track. I like the slogans they come up with these. They're moving a lot of freight there. This is taking me a while to get out of out of town here. Oops, eight. See there, I saw the eight down there. I gotta look at the number before I roll. Look at all the truck traffic coming into town here. And off my left here as well. I don't know, they got I guess they got a little bit There's a Phoenix guy driving for Phoenix. You get less of the like clipping, like the jumping and stuff like that when you're see the A. I'm gonna get a sunset shot in this place. Cleos, so Woodward, 63 miles. That's not that long of a drive, and this point of interest is halfway there, so it's like 30 miles out of Enid, which we see there in our rear view. Look at the traffic that lined up for that train. What a lovely evening. It's already starting to see some twilight, some stars. Yeah, we're, we're leading the parade. Ooh, I don't want to be in that guy's lane. I want to switch to this because I got to see when this thing's coming up. This point of interest. Woodward Caleb Springs? Is that what it said? People. Turn it off that way. I don't know what this is over here. Oh, just a farm. Word 47. Yeah, we are out in the country here. Oh, look at this. You're starting to see, like, buttes and stuff. I wonder if that's going to be part of the... Yeah, it is going to be part of the point of which. So I'm going to get, like, an early... I'm gonna get a late evening twilight. Go straight. Roadside table one mile. Cimarron River. That's probably what this what this point of interest is for. Speed limit 65 and I'm going slow. Okay, but I wanna be pulling over here. I'm barely catching this at, at light still. catch this before it gets dark too dark gloss mountain state park let's let's get this thing going here people we'll get our pictures after we see the show <laughs> all right turn this off let's get right at it oh gloss mountain state park as the sun just went down the stars coming up
Well, we would have liked to have gotten here a little sooner than that, but uh, but that's okay. So Gloss Mountain apparently is what this thing is here. Media photo mode. If I step outside, there's me truck. That's Gloss Mountain. So I could see there's people here. I can't see you guys. Uh, I, I was going to get a picture of them with that in the background, but I can't really see. Well, I can get my truck in there. I don't usually put my truck in it, but I'll take one with the truck, one without. That's pretty cool. Now, there's also there's this sign over here, right? I kind of want to get the sign. There you go. Hours dawn till dusk. It's gonna the, the sign will show up in my thing here if I catch this. So we'll go right here like this. As the sun goes down, yeah, I'd like to come here to another part of the day, but uh, we gotta get we gotta get back to it. So we're gonna jump inside. Okay, we got a, yeah. Gonna pull up here, get my turn signal on. Nobody coming, I hope. We're gonna hope so. Somebody come in there. They gotta slow down. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I uh, no, that's me coming out. Nobody was there when I left. Yeah, it's a little bit late. I just have to remember now. It shows up that I've been there, and it also shows up that I've taken a picture. But I do have to remember that anytime I basically see any one of these things, I should stop and take advantage of it, right? Like if I if I get to a if I get to a point of interest or a photo site, even if I've been there. If I have time, stop and do it again, because I may have gone like this at a certain time of day and in certain weather, and I may have video or or pictures, and it may be better lighting, better time of day, all that stuff. And I know you could change that stuff in game. I know Pete does that every once in a while. I get like the ideal no stuff, but I kind of like to, I like to record my visits as they happen. So when I see each of these landmarks, you know, that's that's what I saw when I saw it. You know, I was here as as night was falling, not not in the early morning, you know. And that's a memory I want to capture. So I'm heading northwest on this stretch. I've never been on this stretch of road before. I'm in a part of Oklahoma that I've never never been in. It's been at 65. I gotta go right through this. straight. Don't turn. That'd be a horrible accident. Alright, Woodward's only nine miles out now. We're only nine miles out of Woodward now, which uh, scales about a half a mile. So we should we should see Woodward pretty soon here. Any folks who can see what Woodward uh, Oklahoma looks like. Ooh, got some shifting. Woodward welcomes you. And asks you to speed down. Steak night, yes. There's a place of speed trap. Go straight. Look at that guy, huh? Here we are, Woodward, Oklahoma. A good place to live. But yeah, who are your sports? Who's your favorite sports team if you live out in Woodward, Oklahoma? I guess you're like a Colorado Rockies fan, maybe. And if you like super mega baseball, that would be the Colorado Lockhorns. Oh, you may be in Oklahoma. You may be a, a nice looking church here. You may be an Oklahoma um, hot corners guy. But uh, it's a beautiful night here. What is I Do I have the temperature? Can I see that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wrong gear again. There we go. At least I saw it. 59 degrees. Upper left there. Jerry's outdoor equipment. Convention hall. Off to the right. 
Ooh boy, ooh Go boy. Straight. Gotta be careful because this is obviously it's class eight is a corrosive material, I think. But Oklahoma Avenue, and I don't know what this crossword is. I can't see what that sign says, but it's something or other. Center. Hold on. It's some center. Looks like a church, like it's a playground outside. Pull my window back up. I guess I could have my windows open. Oh, we're coming through Woodward. Yeah, and it looks like I went south, and there's a, another point of interest showing up on my map. You see it there? Woodward News. So that's at their news station. Nice street. A nice mural on the side. A uh, nice western town. Okay, and there's the Woodward. Go straight. Catholic? Does it say it's a Catholic church? It's my people. All right, passing the Dream Burger out of town. Prime rib. What time is it? Do I have a clock? 10:30 p.m. I forget what day of the week it is. A Thursday. 10:30 p.m. on a Thursday. It's a little late for a steak. But that would have been nice, huh? Looks like we're gonna make a right turn up ahead. There's the Little Shepherds. Always nice to get a room at Little Shepherds. So, although Woodward might be a small town, they got a nice Little Shepherds to stay at if you're passing through with the family. Driving with a car mod. And you don't feel like staying in the camper. E-Pro. Come on, I'm, I'm gonna get a red light for busting the light here. ATS Bank, that's where I do my banking. 183, 412, 273. I don't even know which one I'm taking. I just know my GPS has me going right. There's a gallon there, the E scales. It didn't tell me anything about scales or anything like that. Oh, you got a Chuck and Jack's on our left here. You got a, a farmer's, farmer's barn up ahead. I think US 183. scales there. Car zone. In case you have some issue with your catalytic converter while you're coming through. <laughs> yeah, there's Farmer's Barn. It's a deliverable spot here in, in Woodward, Oklahoma. They also have the 100 Towers in. So yeah, man, Woodward's really Woodward and Enid. I'm kind of impressed. I wasn't expecting much from those towns. They look to be like podunk towns out in the middle of, of nowhere, but they're they're somewhat substantial. What's this up on the right? Truck wash. That sounds good. Can you do that? I'd like to do that. I wonder if that's possible, if you can, there's a plane up there. I remember, I, you know what I haven't seen in a while? Go straight. And of course they used to have it way too often, but shooting stars in this game. I remember I was out in the desert in California and there was like an asteroid, like a meteor shower or something. I keep seeing shooting stars and it was too frequent, but it was still cool. And it would be neat if occasionally they'd just send one flying across the sky out here. Because it is... And then continue straight. It, I'm going to get my brights on here. My high Go beams. Straight. i got the auto high beams on. We're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of night. 
I got somebody behind me, but what's the speed limit? 70. Buzzing on that thing there. There we go through the plains in the middle of the night. I'm going nowhere near 70. I'm going 50. I'm going to have people packing up behind me. I don't know if you can see my resolution uploaded, but on game here, I'm looking in some starry skies. I had that shower earlier, but it really cleaned up. Little ranch roads out here. I love those. In real life, you go like you get on one of those, you know, roads to drive to a ranch, a little dirt road. You could, you can go for miles to get from the road to the actual ranch house. Could be out in the middle of nowhere. See now, my bright should, yeah, okay. See, they got an auto dim. One sixty-five. I'm gonna set my cruise. Although, if it was real life here too, I would also be, I would also be closely watching the shoulders. Looking for, uh, there's a little dirt road off there. Looking for animals to come darting out into the road. Now, a truck like this, you're not going to worry much about a, straight. you know, a raccoon or something like that, but an antelope or a deer could cause a problem. And if you check your rearview mirrors once in a while, make sure nobody's behind you. You can stop if you have to, which I always recommend. Stop to the little fellers. Because they're cute and they should live too. But uh, but yeah, if I got somebody right on you, you don't have much of a choice. Just gonna cross your finger, hope for the best. Look at this old gas station. I loved it. I mean, that one's like the old one that's like condemned. But I love seeing that stuff. It's like one little town on the. My grandfather was born in a town, Cody, Nebraska, and it's. You know, you could throw a football from one end of town to the other. And it's just one of those tiny little places. You're just like, who lives out here? And what do you do? I guess you ranch or you work at the gas station. But I, I love that for some reason. I just love the idea that there's that, you know, their whole, their whole town is wrapped up within, you know, Talk about familial. Little house back there, little farmhouse with all the lights on. Stay right. That's pretty cool. Stay right. Okay, I'm gonna blow through here at high speed. It's got the yellow blinkers on, so I'm supposed to slow down. But Stay here we right. go. Blowing through there in the middle of the night. I did not slow down. Speed them at 55 here, okay. Yeah, I know. I'm going to slow it down. Speed of 65 now. Okay. Actually, I want to slow it down a little bit more. There we go. Set it right there. About 60. Looks like the drill in here. A little well pad. Doesn't look like somebody could develop. Look at that. I mean, you can see like the, the Milky Way galaxy. So I'm going to have... Yeah, there's a Milky Way band. Sorry. Um, I'm going to have some, some more documentary stuff. I think I was saying it before on my channel coming up. <clears throat> Production value is a little higher, so it could take time to put it together. <clears throat> but we did. I'm gonna do the the Titanic dive. We're gonna do the Apollo. Go straight. The Apollo moon landing documentary series. Um, on VR. So, hopefully, if you like that, it's not. You I mean you don't won't see it in 3D. It's in 2D, but. Um, But you get to see a steady cam, sort of. I run it through a filter to sort of steady it out. And see what that sign said. Oh boy. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta slow down. I'm coming into town here. And um, yeah, I'm gonna turn my brights off. Stay left, and then turn left. Stay left to turn left. Okay, there's a little park here. What's this town say? Turn left. Oh, it's a diamond. US 54. We're in Gaiman. So yeah, I've been through Gaiman as you can tell there, but I've been like up to the right. I have not 
up and west here. Then do north. Oops, sorry. There we go again. I'm gonna make the light. I'm just one car back. I shouldn't have an issue making the, the light, you know. Auto body shop. You got a dirt chicken. Which we're not going to hit up at uh, 1214. Midnight. Now there's, tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday in game and in real life. Don't it's always... Stay. It's always a good feeling when Friday's coming up. Yeah, I'm kind of on a on a stint here though, where I'm night driving, and um, not seeing a whole ton of this during the day. But I'm going through a lot of these well lit small towns, and although I'm not seeing them during the day, they still show up at night pretty well. I hear a train somewhere. I like Gallon Oil. I was telling Peter, I think Gallon's probably my favorite fuel company in the game. Oh uh, yeah, so we're going to have, and we're also going to have a, uh, a documentary series on the solar system and on interstellar space. It's going to start off with the solar system, just going over our solar system. And I'm going to use, uh, I've got Space Engine, and I'm probably also going to get Universe Sandbox. Because Space Engine does pretty well with their solar system showing the different you know, planets and high def. Uh, Universe Sandbox shows events and collision physics. So if you wanted to show an animation of how the, they think the moon was formed. Or just you know two celestial bodies colliding. That that works well. So I'd have to buy that still. But that, that'll work its way. And I use, I'm going to be using Replicant for my virtual... Um, hosts, announcers, um, scientists, archaeologists, sort of stuff like that. Which is kind of a powerful tool, but I'm going to be using the free version. Um, so you're going to have to see a watermark on those, because I just don't know how popular it's going to be. Go straight. You think you can keep a watermark on there? Well, it's free. If you pay for it, it's $60 a year. So, I think I mentioned before, I would consider paying for it if it became really popular. And if I got a lot more viewers on the channel. But at this point, I just don't know. Um, I've also, I think I've decided I'm going to get Tiger Woods 2K, oops, 2K23. It's on sale right now until the 24th 4th of October for, I think, $12. And it's Pete and I. We play the golf club 2019, and I would still play the golf club 2019. We have actually several courses that we've never played, um, and I would love to play golf with Pete some more, and hope no to on that. Uh, and it is a good sim. Golf club 2019 still a good sim, but uh, 2K23 came out in 2022. It's got some updated graphics. Um, it looks a little better. I mean, it looks it looks noticeably better. It's not like, you know, wow, next gen or whatever. But the graphics are. If you saw them side by side, you'd be like, oh yeah, this one's a better looking one. Uh, and it has more courses too, like Augusta National you could play, which is really cool. Global Mills, Dalhart, Texas. Here we are. I think we did we. Oh, now we're entering. I'm like, did we enter Texas and I didn't know about it? No, we didn't enter. We're entering it right now. Back, back home. And Texas people, because we live in Texas. Not in real life, but in game. We live in Fort Worth. As we call baseball games for the Texas Ramblers. We've done one season there so far. Had a 500 record. Boy, those, look at the wind. It must be crazy. Look at those. Those things blow. Train out here in the middle of the night. Um, our Texas Ramblers... Went 500. It was a 38 game season or 16 and 16, I think. Wait, is that 38? No, 19 and 19. Didn't make the playoffs. Better luck next year. But hey, I'm from Chicago, so I know what that's like. I like get these, uh, get the high beams on. And So yeah, we'll have that again next year. But um, oh yeah, also Tiger Woods 2K23 lets you go to the Top Golf in Las Vegas. So I'll have to do that. 
But yeah, so we are virtually located in Fort Worth, Texas. So we the last four seasons we called games for the Arizona Bee Wolves. So we were out of Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm pretty familiar in truck sim with the Phoenix area, although I've not visited every every city in the state of Arizona yet. And I'm still pretty darn new to Texas. Texas is uh it's a huge state and it's gonna take even a you know, I was in for four years calling games for the B Wolves. And I was and I based myself out of the Phoenix location. But I was doing long haul trucking, so I wasn't really you know, just staying around Arizona. But I did you know, we did come back from time to time and didn't end up seeing that whole state anyway. We got people ready. Yeah, I got a, I got a parade behind me because the speed limit is 75 and I'm going 55. Sorry. Just trying to see what that was. We won't be in Texas long. We should be coming out into New Mexico pretty soon here. I'm going to get the right lane let people pass me. Oh my gosh, so we're coming into town. What are we coming into here? Dollhard discovered. 45, huh? Okay. Well, there's a fun in sand. I have not been here. I've not been to Dollhard, Texas. But there are Rambler fans out here. Yes, there are. Boise City, right, Clayton. Then turn right. Tucumcari and Amarillo. Matt and I landed, we took off from Tucumcari and landed in uh, Albuquerque right. on Flight Simulator. Oops. And so, and so it was. Down under the underpass here, under the railroad, which is always a nice feature. Unless it's raining, you don't want to be down here. Although they probably got pretty good drainage. It's not like they're... Go straight. They don't know what to do with a storm out here in Dollhart, Texas. But yeah, you're a, a Cowboys fan, you're a Ramblers fan, maybe the Texas Rangers too, yeah. If you're on these parts, you may be a, a Broncos fan. Or have an affinity for the Broncos. Raton 123, that's where we're going, folks. Raton, New Mexico. Let's get in the right lane, let people pass. Let's get our high beams back on. Starry, starry night. Yeah, and then I got a whole bunch of other games I want to do. I want to start up a few things in the off season here. I want to get a boxer career going for Undisputed. Do some more rally racing, do some flying, but I also got like um, Shadows of Doubt. I've got my, uh, what's the mountain climbing one now? Um, what is it called? I mean, it's, it's like a mountain climbing term too. It's like, oh, insurmountable. That's not really a mountain climbing term. So my cruise is 65. My old truck, 65 was about as fast as it would get. It didn't go very fast. So uh, what did I say? 120 something to Dahlhart? There it is. Welcome to. We just passed the sign. So welcome to New Mexico. I'm sorry. We, we went through Latania. Look at the stars. I think even on lower resolution you can see that there. Let's see what this sign says. The best from our fields, Bushnell. Oh, I do like Bushnell. Oh, 50. Speed limit 50. We're coming through a town. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hitting the brakes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. We're hitting the brakes. And we're coming up to a stop. So JD, I have not been to Clayton, New Mexico. From Clayton, get a shout out. Guy hanging outside there at the, is that his house? Look at that house, just right up the road, just watching trains at 1.30 in the morning. Living the good life. 
Apex Steel. Yeah, this game has grown so much over the years. There's so many more states, there's so many more companies. That's neat. And every time I, I get to exploring like almost 33% of the map, they release a new state. Oh, that's an awesome mural. Oh, hold on, we need a picture. Picture time. Get your camera out. Um, they release a new state and then... Get this at night. I can't get the whole thing, can I? I mean, I guess I can go back here. Sorry, get right by your car. Get it right there. Take that shot. And then maybe I get up. Well, the light's still red. Because obviously it's... And just get this, where you don't even see... Well, I guess you see the bricks and stuff, but... Although you want the you want some of the wagon there, so it's kind of like that, right? There we go. That's pretty cool. All right, neat. Oh, hop back and look at that. We did all that during a red light. <laughs> it's right next to the Supreme Hardware Store. Look at this nice truck. Look at all the headroom I have. Yeah, and this you know since one of the like, this game has progressed so much too, just in its effects, like the lighting. You see the brake lights inside the cabin here, the sh the the light shading and stuff like that. That's a fairly recent thing. I can't wait to get my new computer and throw on the VR headset and try this again too, because you really feel like you're inside this thing. Boy, I got I don't have my brights on, do I? Or, well, I need to tell they're on or off. I can't tell what on and on is off, but uh, I think they're off. I say I'm really lighting that guy's car up. That is a cool mural right here on Main Street in uh, Clay. Is it Clayton, New Mexico? We've got a Garden of Eden, Pizza Matzo, or whatever that is. Go straight. Dragon, something or other. Ports to Plains Corridor. Got some traffic heading out of town. Now this is one of these. I don't know if I like the the mirror. There is going over the tracks here. The overpass. If I like the mirror placement on this or not. I have to look off to my left a little to see my mirror. Now the good thing is I think it's it's so that when you're turning if there's something right there you don't you don't turn lanes into something. But you can get lost Des Moines. You can get lost behind that stanchion or behind the mirror instead of a stanchion so it's all kind of you know six of one half dozen of the other. It's a big feedlot out there looks like. I think those are cattle out there rail off or I'm gonna stop looking I'm panning my head too much I realize I'm just gonna resume right well no because I was at 65 and it's 70 here which is fine but this line of traffic is not going 70 oops so usually I like to do a little bit more looking around but you can see a bar oh look at that it's got the Texas is it the Texas Star? We're in New Mexico, right? And we're turning towards the northwest, north northwest. Which, by the way, North by Northwest, great movie. You should see it if you haven't seen it. Nice night. It looks like it's 48 degrees out at this point. Wow, that's kind of chilly. Out here in the plains, it gets hot during the day. Pretty cool at night. Semi-desert-like. Why am I? I'm just... For some reason, I have a tough time going from 11th to 12th. Especially if I'm going uphill. I'm going uphill, so I really don't 
have the power. Once I stop going up, I should be okay. Is that off my right? Oh, that's just part of my, my mirror. Sure there's nothing in my lane. 55 miles up an hour up here. So the next, I think the next town we see is going to be Rattan. I think, in fact, we might be... Is this... Des Moines? It can't be a Des Moines, New Mexico, is it? I saw that sign for Des Moines before, but... The only Des Moines I know is Iowa, but I guess it's... Passing through town. There's the gallon. Almost 3 o'clock in the morning. Relatively busy for... That time when I port the plane's corridor. We're ton 34 miles, okay. So we had one more down and then and then there we go. Yeah, so Matt and I landed in Albuquerque on our Route 66 trip. Our next stop's gonna be uh, uh let's see, I think it's gonna I think we're stopping at Flagstaff. Although I think he said we should like do a touch and go and gallop but uh, we're going to try and uh, see the crater up there near Flag. I forgot that the crater in Arizona it's actually just east of Flagstaff east and a little south so uh, we're going we're gonna to try and see that on our trip and then when I'm in Colorado I'm going to do some Aerofly flying as well they've got a, a challenge I think in a, in a Cessna where you do a high altitude takeoff and landing so it's sort of a long takeoff and landing from a, from a high altitude airport up, here, up there in the mountains so yeah this episode I'm going to Rattan obviously but my next one I'm going to try and catch a load up into Colorado Springs I've got a garage in Colorado Springs and I have three drivers there so uh, I've got I got people in Colorado Springs and I have a place a free place to stay so and I will be staying at the at my garage there. Another thing I want to do in the off season is get my restaurant started. Opening a restaurant in virtual New Orleans, and uh, with res restaurant simulator, not cooking simulator, but restaurant uh, life, a cooking simulator. I think it's what it's called. Because I did Cooking Simulator for a while. Oh, I thought he was coming to my lane. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. And the, really, the, the thing... I mean, you're, you're not with anybody. It's empty. It's an empty kitchen. <clears throat> and it's still fun. You get the recipes. You get to put stuff together. And I was liking Stay it. Right. I was enjoying it. And then turn right. Look at the wall where it looks like an old Eddie's. But uh, the thing that killed it for me was the turn flipping right. mechanic. You needed to, like, flip something. And in real life, <laughs> taking a spatula and flipping something is not a skill that needs to be learned. I mean, yeah, you could mess it up, maybe, sort of, but it's not, it's not difficult. Not at all. And uh, the game made it difficult. You needed to, like, the physics, just being able to twist into with the mouse and all that, and it could not flip anything. And so I'd ruin recipes and spend a huge amount of time trying to flip a salmon steak. Stay right. And I thought, it's not fun. Right. It's not fun anymore. I'm, I'm a huge amount of effort on a menial task. And it just killed it for me. So Turn this other right. sim looks a little bit, a little bit less crazy like that. What's... What's that alert for? It's just showing that there's something off my right? Okay, hold on, that's... I didn't like that, so... Why is it... What's on my right that it thought was there? I mean, I guess it thought like there was a... a car there or something. I was at the... Wait, am I at the bitumen? Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, sorry. No, I'm up I'm up ahead. I'm sorry. I got nobody behind me. Good. I thought I had to turn in there. I'm like, oh I did not plan that right. No, I'm going to the rail the rail depot thing here. 
in return, not the Benjamin. What? I I just realized I've got a uh, turn left. Like I said, I've got drivers in Colorado Springs, and um, one of them, one of my drivers has probably been through Rattan at least two dozen times. That guy knows this place like the back of his hand. I forget which guy it is, but he's uh, he's the real deal. I should call him up while I'm right. down here in Rattan, see how he's doing. I think it's Finally, Mike. We are here. And uh, where's where's my delivery spot? Is that okay? All right, so that's it. But it's gonna give me one chance. Coming off the road there, but I think I played this perfectly. And now it's just gonna it's gonna straighten out as I pull it along. Although it's a little chilly out, 45 degrees, so... It's straightening. I think I'll get it straight enough. If not... There it is, okay. Let's say if not, I can go around again, but... Park it. Step outside. I think we're here with plenty of time. It's a rail depot. We're going to put the steel on the back of a train here in New Mexico and send it out somewhere else. Look at the moon. That's nice. Well, we'll talk about the moon on our on our, our space show. Let's deliver this, and then, yeah, my next one, we'll get to Colorado Springs, but for now... Excellent. I actually made money on this one. Still losing. I didn't make that much, though. $3,800 profit. I didn't spend any gas. I mean, I used 69, 70 gallons of gas. It took me eight hours. But yeah, all right. So now I am in Rattan. I'm not going to take my load this time. We're going to get that the next time around. But I, since I'm in town, I want to go somewhere to sleep. I need to go somewhere to sleep. And maybe somewhere that has fuel. Both of those places do. Unless. Well, no, because I was going to say if I. Like, heck, I could, you know, because if I'm gonna bring a, if I'm gonna bring a load up there, it's gonna be down here in town. So, I'm gonna want to sleep. I can't sleep out there, right? Closest one. It's gonna be. I'm gonna come out of here and go right and just go straight out. So I'm gonna go to this one. So let's go there real quick to spend the night. Right. Drive. Let's do this. I know it's been just over an hour right now, but I do love that how on single player you get into your in your. The load you just delivered is right there. We left it. And it's going to stay there until they process it. Steel bands wrapped up. They've got trailers here that are ready to go out that have been shipped in on the train. So they've got fuel there. That was on the flatbed of a train, and then they've got, uh, you know, those wind turbine things set. So if you were going to pick up from this from this spot, one of those two things would be your load. They'll put our steel on one of those trains, and then uh, they'll get other loads. There's the, the rattan sign there with the star. I like rattan. Oops, I hit the wrong light. Oh, crap, hold on. I'm hitting the wrong stuff all over. Hold on, people. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. My turn signal. Wait. Oh my gosh! Still the wrong one. All right, one. Sorry. My my steering wheel is upside down, which is why I'm having a problem here. Turning left. This way. Turn left. Yeah, left and then right. That chopper. The chopper. Turn right. Whoops. Yeah, there's the sign up on the hill. Bitch him in here. It's 3.53, almost 4 a.m. We're going to be going to, to sleep as the sun comes up, but that's kind of cool. I'm sorry, I know it's been an hour, 
but uh, got to get a picture of that too. Media, photo mode, this won't take long. It's always, for some reason always looking ready at your truck, but well, that's not going to come out all that well, is it, because of all the, the lights in town here. But that's, yeah, that's good. We'll get it right there. Second Street. That's at night. Okay, back in. See, at the corner of Second and Cimarron? Is it Cimarron? In Raton, New Mexico. I'm, I just looked down and saw the 8 down there. There's that nice... That's I will never have an RV like that, though. Those are those, like, quarter million dollar RVs. That's where people retire and they sell their home and they get one of those suckers. Oh. oh. Yeah, the ambulance is like, what are you doing, guy? I don't understand that. They didn't need to... Ooh, look at a tank. Maybe that was in World War II? Or that actually looked more like a Vietnam or a Korean War kind of a tank. Wonder what... How many of our easy red heroes are from Rutan, New Mexico? 21-foot clearance. That's a tall... Tall underpass. There's the motel we're turning turn left here. Okay, well, I was... I was not ready for that turn. Fun and sand. On the left there. There's motels. There's plenty of places to stay here in uh, Rutan, but they're not they're not like those nicer places we saw in Enid um, and Wood Woodward Oklahoma we're looking at the fun and sand here these are like your you know your motor hotels the the ground floor everything's on the ground floor and it's right off the parking lot still it's got some western charm to it but it helps if you're packing heat. Keep that under your pillow at night. <laughs> Dynamix, huh? The guy behind me is like, come on, dude. Turn. What do you got to do to turn? Saw the moon there. Is that, is that a Walbert? Yeah, it's a little Walbert off our left. Even Rattan has a Walbert. off on our left so I want to get on that lane. Crossing over the highway here. So we're heading east. Across the bridge and we're gonna stay at the gallon. It's like a gallon truck stop over here. There's a pizza stay place. Back. Then turn back. I was saying I'm partial to gallons anyway. Oop, oh, get my windows open. I'm not going to worry about the, the windshield wipers because we're... Although I should get fuel. So that next time I'm, I'm ready to go. You know? So I'm going to get gas. I guess I'll put my wipers on. Why not? Because we will probably need fuel. I, I, I did spring for the larger... No, I don't need fuel. Look at that, I, did, I sprung for the larger tank. This is actually, and this, I haven't bought for yet. This is the tank that came with the truck. This is like, the, they topped it off when I bought it. I haven't fueled up yet. I got the, the large gas tank. Mobile, have, oh look at that, that's probably like for, for showers and stuff like that. I mean, I'll stay in the truck, but that guy's got a day tripper. I wonder if that's one of my drivers. <laughs> Because I got a day tripper. It's an old Peterbilt that looks like that, and it's what's his face. I'll have to check see what those guys are when I'm done here. But I won't, won't bother you guys with that. I've got. Uh, I'm pulling behind or between these guys, but like right here, you can kind of see the tracks. I should like to go back and then come up a little bit. 
Kenworth, nice one. Wait, I got—I guess I lined up with the driver's seat right, right there. There you go. Put that thing there. All right, uh, I can turn my wipers off now. Get my lights off. Shut my engine down. Quiet. This is what we'll hear tonight as I make my bed. I'll pull the curtains and uh, we'll hit it. All right, thanks for following me to Rattan. Joining me to Rattan, folks. We'll uh, pick it back up. Next time we'll try and get a load of the Colorado Springs. And while we're there, we're going to do the Pikes Peak and get some rally racing and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Bye now.